Uh, the International Court of Justice was asked by the United Nations General Assembly uh, to, to render what's called an advisory opinion. Advisory opinion basically means the International Court of Justice is an arm of the United Nations and the political bodies within the UN, for example the General Assembly or the Security Council, they can refer to the International Court of Justice and ask them, give us your legal opinion on this particular question. And it serves as an advisory role to direct the political bodies if they're going to make a decision for them to know what is the legal status of this particular question. So the uh, International Court of Justice was asked by the General Assembly to render a legal opinion on the, the, on, uh, on the legality, to render an advisory opinion on the legality of the wall that Israel was building in the occupied Palestinian territories in the West Bank. Now, for the International Court of Justice to render an opinion on that question, they had to answer several preliminary questions. So, for example, to whom does the West Bank belong? If the West Bank belonged to Israel, then obviously you're allowed to build a wall within territory that's yours. And so they had to decide where is the border of Israel, where does Israel end and Palestine begin. And the International Court of Justice ruled that Israel ends at the 1967 border and Palestine, or the unit of Palestinian self-determination, it begins right past what's called the Green Line, the 67 border. Then the wall took a circuitous route incorporating the major settlement blocks. So the court had to rule whether the settlements were legal. If they were legal, then you'll have to build a wall to protect your settlements. So the court had to render a judgment on the legality of the settlements and it ruled that the settlements are all illegal under international law. Now the wall cuts right through Jerusalem. It puts the Palestinian parts of Jerusalem on this side of the wall and the Jewish parts of Jerusalem on the quote-unquote Israeli side of the wall. So the court had to rule to whom does Jerusalem belong, because if it belongs to Israel, you can build a wall wherever you want in your property. And the court ruled that uh, East Jerusalem is occupied Palestinian territory. So in order to answer the preliminary, excuse me, in order to answer the question of the legality of the wall, it had to answer these preliminary questions and these preliminary questions are actually what are called the final status issues, borders, settlements, and Jerusalem. The only one it didn't answer, because it wasn't relevant, was refugees. Uh, what did you say? Oh, at one point, wasn't water another one? Yeah, was water concerned? was. You know, you're right. You're right. Water was. But now water has been subsumed under uh, borders. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you're correct. Um, so... It answered all of the uh, critical questions, apart from the question of uh, uh, refugees. And then there's the interesting point of the vote. You know, the, I've, I've studied the International Court of Justice. I teach a lot of their, um, I taught uh, a lot of their uh, opinions. And um, the votes are usually pretty close. This one was 14 to 1. The only dissenting vote was the United States, Thomas Bergenthal. And even Bergenthal said, there's a lot in the opinion I agree with. And on the crucial question, Bergenthal made a point of saying, I agree with the majority. The settlements are illegal under international law. Well, the settlements are illegal, then it's really end of story. Because if Israel can't have the settlements, it's not going to keep the West Bank. It has nothing, no gain from them. So you could say that the vote was 14 to 1 on technically, but de facto the vote was 15 to 0. Uh, you may almost never get in the ICJ a vote like that, 15 to 0. I, actually, I can't think of a single case. Even like nuclear proliferation? Oh, nuclear proliferation was right down the middle mm -hmm. because the judges are supposed to be neutral, but you know they're really mm -hmm. speaking for their countries. 
So you had a French judge, a British judge, an American judge, a Russian judge, and a Chinese judge on the court, and those are the five nuclear powers, so you can figure it out where they're going to vote on the legality of nuclear weapons.